Okay, so I have an idea. When we did that last video, there is an epic shot of Josh walking out to the flying field with the wing. That B-52 that Ben gave to us, and I posted that on Instagram, and it got a lot of great response. People thought it was actually just a flying wing. What if we took the wing off, and we made like a flying wing kind of futuristic B-52, or maybe B-26? B-26 flying wing bomber. Get it? Because it's like half of 52. Anyway, so <laughs> do I think that I can make this wing fly as a flying wing? No. But if I get it started and I start hacking it apart, then I think with our team, with Josh and Jeremy and Stefan and everybody working together, I think we can make this huge wing fly. There's one thing that I do know is that if it's going to work as a flying wing, we're going to need bigger control surfaces. So that's where I'm going to start. We're going to need huge elevons. Later. So I've been told it's my turn to start working on this wing. I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, it needs flapper railer, whatever you're on. Hey, Alex. Yeah. Uh, so as you can see here, I just hacked and splashed these all the way off. I don't know. I just felt like that was a good place to start. So <laughs> this is how big the old ailerons were. Very small, but it's about scale for a real B-52, I would imagine. We cut out some new foam that was uh, about this size and maybe even like accentuate it. I think that that should be more than enough to fly it as elevons. And in terms of vertical stabilization, I don't think wingtip is going to work very well because of the flex of the because flop. Because of the flop, yeah. It doesn't matter really. We basically just need a control surface that goes up and down. That's called your vertical stabilizer. Basically what that allows your plane to do, it prevents it from like flying along and just kind of like... So you track straight. Yeah. Yep. Without a rudder on a boat, your boat would just kind of drift <laughs> around. So what you're telling me is there's no plan. <laughs> you got it, dude. It, I'm having flashbacks to the no plan plan. No plan plan, baby. Where it all began. Just make it up as I go. So I guess I'll start by making a list. Uh, so, so vertical stabilizers. All right, that's my list. I haven't slept very well the last few nights and I'm just not thinking clearly. <laughs> this is not going how I planned. But I had an idea. Cockpit. Hey Stefan. Yo. So I have some problems. Okay. Number one, the wing is really starting to sag as I'm trying to dress things. And so I need a solution fast. To be honest with you, the easiest way to, to not have that happen, prop it up with chairs. Oh, chairs. Chair propping. Chair propping. Yeah. Just. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. that's nice. Ooh. And, and then. Uh... Nice. Just call me what you need. Teamwork. Resolution. Love helping, guys. Now, the cool thing about this episode is we're getting help from a really cool company called Real Steady. So if you don't know much about Real Steady, Real Steady is an image stabilization software that actually is like the cream of the crop, specifically the GoPro action cameras. So specific to the GoPro, you're gonna be using Real Steady Go. And that actually works on Hero 7, Hero 6, Hero 5, and even the Session 5. So whether you have a GoPro 5, 6, or 7, or a Session, or you're looking to go buy a new one, you can actually save a little bit of money by getting a 5 or a 6, and then buying Real Steady Go to kind of make your image stabilization the best of the best. So the Real Steady Go app is actually a fully standalone app for both PC and Mac with a super simple interface. So another cool feature of the Real Steady Go app is actually the Horizon Lock feature. It gives you a true gimbal-like look that no other action camera stabilization has. 
which is pretty awesome. Now because the stabilization is not done in camera, that means it can handle a wider variety of camera movements without losing smoothness compared to like hyper smooth or other stabilization methods. So our buddy Matt, who's our quad guy here, has been flying GoPros for a long time. He's already got pretty smooth footage, but as you can see, it takes it to the next level. The stabilization in this software is beyond amazing. So if you're shooting a lot of footage on GoPro, you really wanna check out Real Steady. If you use the code Flight Test right here on the screen, you can get $5 off your Real Steady purchase. And also, the other cool thing is that they have a free trial. So if you wanna go check it out and see how it works first before you buy, that's available. And so a huge thanks to Real Steady for making this video possible. And also, big thanks to you guys. So by checking out that link below and using that specific code, you're literally allowing us to do what we do and provide content for you guys free to watch. And to be honest with you, it's looking like we're gonna need all the help we can get. Dude, <laughs> what are you don't look doing? At, don't look at this too closely. I hacked off the old control surface and now I'm putting on a new one. And I, I can assure you, this looks way worse on camera than it actually is. This is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be fine. I mean, look at this. Well. I don't know. All right, so here's what I got here. We're building up some more stabilizers. And you might be thinking, well, you already got vertical stabilizers on there. Josh pointed out the really good problem. These vertical stabilizers are in front of the center of gravity. He said that on this wing, the center of gravity is like right here. And so these are in front. And the reason why a rudder is on the back of a boat is the same reason why vertical stabilizers are on the back of the plane. It keeps your nose going straight. The problem with these are is they're in front of the CG. The idea is to get some more stabilization behind the center of gravity. We're putting these guys on there, which are a little bit further back, and it should help hopefully keep this thing tracking nice and true. We'll see, I don't know. And look at that. Oh, dude, this is darn near balancing perfectly on the CG right off the bat. Can you come and help me, man? Yeah, what do you need, bro? Well, we need some landing gear. Here, you pull that one. I'll pull this one. Forward. One, two, three. Go. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> Dang, what'd you glue this on with, Ben? <laughs> Carbon fiber rock. <laughs> <laughs> So now what I'm thinking here is uh, two sets of wheels. How many inches is that? Seven or eight. Call it eight. We're gonna build an eight inch aerodynamic pedestal for the landing gear. How can we not have a hammer? <laughs> Adam Savage, this is for you. <laughs> That's how it's done. I think I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Landing gears. So I am figuring out a way to mount this landing gear to sit in the middle of the flying wing. And what I'm thinking is one on the nose, one on the tail, and then the outer wing supports will support the wings while it's on the ground. Alex did a great job on this landing gear, but this is what I'm facing right now. I need to add a servo to each wing so that we have two servos for each wing controlling two elevons. So that means the different servos are gonna pull the different size control horns at different amounts on the different elevons, meaning we're gonna have different deflection on each control surface. I don't know if that's a problem. Okay, got the servos in. Now Alex and I are throwing a sweet paint job on it. So at least it's gonna look epic when it doesn't fly. Prediction, <laughs> last time with the buff, I thought it was gonna fly amazing. And it flew, but it didn't fly that great. So I'm gonna give it only like a 40% chance of success. <laughs> I'm not even gonna give you any explanation. 27% chance of flying. Come on, I was feeling confident. I just did all this work, all right? I think it's the world record model airplane for the most Y harnesses used in one <laughs> build. You can see it down below, there's a little rat's nest. I think there's a, a small family of birds that's living underneath <laughs> in this hall. But other than that, we got differential set up. That took me about three hours. We have split elevons on both sides. Looks good. Having a hand in making this 
I have several concerns. <laughs> Number one is the wing is warpy twisty. So one motor pod is pointing down on one side and on the other side they're pointing up. <laughs> we got two different kinds of servos giving us two different amounts of throw. The glue doesn't stick to the paint that was already on it so it may just disassemble <laughs> midair. So I'm noticing a bunch of things wrong with the plane, but there's something else that I've been noticing. Most of you watching this video right now aren't actually subscribed, and we would love for you to join a part of the Flight Test family because we do crazy stuff like this all the time, and it's because of you guys that we get to do this stuff. So do subscribe. But in terms of the plane, it is going to get airborne, and I kind of hope that it doesn't stay airborne and we have just the <laughs> most epic crash ever. I'm actually concerned just like Joshua was flying the regular B-52. I need to go fast enough to fly but I don't want to go too fast because this wing is basically the equivalent of a wet noodle and wet noodles don't fly very good. My original prediction was that Josh would show up today and he would be the, the one that ended up <laughs> flying it but it never panned out. Here I am with the controller. I'm the guy who gets to fly it. You know what? I'm happy about it. I'm happy about being a part of a, such a cool project. Ben Harbour shout out to you if you haven't seen the original b52 video where we flew this thing with the rest of the plane uh, make sure you check that out my prediction I'm I'm optimistic typically I'm gonna say 70% that's where I've normally been my whole life that's where I'm gonna be on this plane if I had to guess so <laughs> all right well I think now's a good time as enter because the wind has died down a little bit and yeah. the wind is not great, it's not <laughs> ideal, but it's not gonna be good for the next couple days, so I think this is our window of opportunity, best opportunity anyway, so. Full commitment level, 1,000, I gotta just go for it. All Come right. on, Alex. Here we go. Let's go, here we go. Fly, get in the air. Yes! Yes, yeah. watch out for the tree! Whoa! <laughs> oh my God! Yes! It's in the air! Dude, you're doing it, dude! Oh. You're doing yeah. it! Okay, so immediately <laughs> pulling to the left and straight up into the heavens. <laughs> Luckily, it has plenty of power. Downwind, oh. if anything is going to happen, this is when it's going to be. <laughs> oh. I'm so happy that I took the time for differential. <laughs> Great decision. Not too steep, dude. Whoa, that was a crazy was turn. Crazy. Yeah, dude, straight up differential. Well, how'd she feel? Terrible. How'd she feel, dude? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> it feels like if a wing had no oh. structural integrity, <laughs> that's what it feels like. Yes. This guy is crazy. Let's go, man. Oh, dang. Dude. dude, she looks majestic in the air, though. All that being said, though, like now that I'm up in uh, above the turbulent wind, yeah, uh, not the worst thing I've ever flown. <laughs> <laughs> I've flown a lot of terrible things, though, oh, so man. keep that in mind. All right, here comes the differential. Look at that turn. Look at that on a dime, dude. Oh, my gosh. Just call you John Bixler. Dude, the floppy <laughs> wing is real. It literally, it <laughs> literally yes, looks like a B-52 without a fuselage. <laughs> <laughs> my marbles are just It glowing. looks like a B-52 fell apart in the sky and just kept flying, baby. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set up an approach. All right, and if it feels good, I'm going to try to land it. You seem a little and high. It, uh, well, I'm, it's a long approach. <laughs> oh, man. Reducing power. Uh, refer to the user manual for Mac for best optimum don't approach go, Don't speed. go down too fast. Oh, don't go down too fast, this dude. Is, oh my dude. goodness. Watch out for the trees. What is going on? Bro, you're coming to the tree. Oh, you're coming at us now. <laughs> you're coming hot, dude. You're coming in super hot. You got to go down below. You go down. <laughs> How'd you feel about that, man? That was exhilarating. <laughs> Yes, dude. Oh, in the sun, can't see anything. My retinas, <laughs> my retinas are singed. Oh, you're going, you're going that way. All right, I'm gonna go long approach again, not as high. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, I hear what stuff. Was that, dude? I think it was the bird's nest bouncing around in the back. Oh, that's a great approach. Relax, dude, yes. relax, pour it down. Pour it down. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Look, at that down. Down. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, it's in one oh. piece, dude. I can't. Oh. Oh. Dude, nice. What do you say we take it up and like see what the capabilities are? Yeah. yeah. Let's All right, it. well, yes. the thing that we calculated with these two Lumineer 8000 six cell batteries, basically running two mini quads worth of motors, because these are just mini quad motors, we calculated it has like a 40 to 50 minute flight time. So there's still plenty of battery. Oh, battery shift. Battery shift, dude. 
71 percent baby all right all right second flight this is where the test pilot takes his, takes the new aircraft and sees what the limitations <laughs> and the tolerances of the design are i believe in you you guys ready let's, let's go baby it. let's go get in the air little man yeah <laughs> <laughs> That was like <laughs> clockwork, dude. It flies like a real plane. Oh, man, dude. All right. First, well, what's your first course of action, buddy? First things first. Oh. Very pitchy. Yeah, I think the wind pitchy. has shifted. The wind has shifted to that direction. I probably could have put an expo oh, on man. the elevator. Dude. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to take her up, see what kind of vertical she has, and wing over. Whoa! Whoa. That was the craziest Whoa. thing of all time. <laughs> All right, stabilizing, stabilizing, Stab stabilizing. Okay, <laughs> stabilizing. All right, first, next thing's next. Here we go. Full speed. Yeah. Climb it up into the classic loop de loop. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Still in one piece. She can't, are you she can't be right stopped. Now. She can't Ben stop. Harbor, you're crushing it, bro. It's riding this wind like a wave. It All is. right, dude. What's next? I need some more altitude here for this one. You are you doing it? Oh, geez, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try barrel roll. I'm gonna give full aileron and differential you thrust. Need more altitude, I think. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> yes. Get it. Get it. Are you upside down? <laughs> I went into an inverted flat spin for a second. All right, that's riding on the wall. I think All right. now we need to go into a yes, flat spin. Flat spin for eight, the ages. Okay, this is gonna be wild. This is gonna be. I'm so excited. Uh, the wind keeps shifting. It feels like. Yeah, it's all over the, the place. The suspense is killing me, man. All right, here we go. Ready? Yep. Yes! Yeah. Go hard, go oh, hard! Lazy. Oh, jeez, dude. Okay, she's still in one piece, man. This is a great flying airplane. <laughs> Let me tell you what. I don't know if the uh, government or the military is watching, but I think you're onto something here with your wing design. Okay, so maybe this way. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. We're going into it. I'm going to try to do a better flat spin here. We got some serious altitude. Ready? Here we yep. go. We're going to the right this time. There it is. Oh my yes, gosh, that looks it. amazing. It's like a boomerang, dude. It's like a giant boomerang. Look at that What? I just lost my marbles. I'm losing it my marbles. Yes, yes, stabilize. Oh, we got some entrails hanging out the back. <laughs> All right, I'm, go I'm going for it. I'm gonna Landing wasn't exactly the easiest thing, but if I can do all these maneuvers, and uh, I'm bringing it in for a landing. I'm gonna feel really good about myself, so <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. I think the batteries have shifted. Yeah. Yeah. And it's flying really weird now. It is. Oh man. Okay. 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 You got it, okay. dude. Pitchy. Oh, what what dude. That? Relax, dude. You. Whoa. Whoa. No. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> I tried so hard. I feel like something happened catastrophic and I lost some of my control. I feel like that bird's nest of wires that I hooked up all day today was flopping around on there and a couple motors maybe and servos maybe got disconnected. The truth is we'll never know. But we're gonna know right now because we gotta go check out the damage. Right, let's go check out the damage. Oh my. It's actually not bad. Dude, she would fine. fly again. Look, the GoPro still in one piece. Dude. Oh no, the six cell oh. lumineer. So here's the thing. We're out here on hole 17 and we got a couple <laughs> people waiting to play through and we got a hazard on the fairway. So we got to get this cleaned up ASAP. We do crazy projects like this all the time. If you want to see the rest of this B-52 journey, you can check that out here. Hit that subscribe button and the bell if you haven't yet already. And uh, thank you guys so much. Ben Harbor, shout out to you, buddy. Love you. We'll see you in the next one. Ha, 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 ha.